The mayor was going to provide a plan. She said, all we need is the data. They've got the data now. And frankly, I don't think this is a matter of cold data. Just go out on the street and talk to people. Spend an hour, two hours, and hear people's stories. And find out why we have so many people on the streets without homes, without safety, and without a warm place to escape the killer Salt Lake City Code. All we are here today to ask is a very simple thing, and it's something, it's the kind of thing that really reflects on what kind of a community we are. And that is we're asking that there be a plan, which the mayor hasn't provided yet, and that there be immediate implementation of that plan to provide an overflow shelter for people who are homeless, that when it gets so cold, it becomes dangerous, and there are people who have already died of exposure in our city this year. So that there's a place that the homeless can come in safely and get out of the cold. The next person that dies of exposure on the streets of Salt Lake City will be a result of there being no plan, no implementation, and no overflow shelter to provide for the safety of people who are homeless in our community. So we feel like we need to err on the side of safety. We need a place for these women and children and individuals to go so that they can be safe. Like uh, Rocky said, we've had already deaths this winter. We can't have more. I mean, it's just... We, we can't allow that to happen. So we have a petition that was started asking the mayor to accept the city council's plan, and we're really hopeful that she's going to see that that is the most kind of common sense and Christ-like thing to do. So I'll let... Um So far, the city has allocated $280,000 to help with overflow issues that the service providers may encounter this winter. Um, some of that funding has been used to open St. Vincent's already, and um, so far, the needs are being met. What we're seeing on our streets today is that there are individuals who simply do not want to be in the shelter. And every year we encounter this issue where uh, some of the homeless population is not comfortable being inside a facility like that. So we also have funding of readily available today for motel rooms. And one of the things that we are encouraging uh, the VOA and volunteers who are going out onto the streets uh, to encourage those who don't want to go to the shelter to seek um, some sort of shelter through that funding in our hotels and motels. And that has been something that has been done historically for years in Salt Lake City. So at this point, um, the funding is there. We have not been asked to allocate any of the funding for the hotels and motels yet, uh, but we certainly can and will uh, when those requests come in. Uh, the fact that funds have simply not been requested for that option is my concern, right? So why hasn't that occurred? I don't know, and we've been trying to get that information, but I am encouraging here today for the VOA and those volunteers to make sure that people know that their only option is not just the Rio Grande area, that they could stay in a hotel or motel. 